Good morning, everyone. I'd like to talk about pregnancy. Pregnancy means to carry a fetus on mother uterus. So, new technology tell us the situation, your future. A new perinatal genetic testing has started in Japan since 2013, April. And the technology to reveal the trisomy of a fetus from the 13th, 18th, and 21st. For example, the trisomy 21st is called Down syndrome. You can, you know. But the test makes new situation. A couple would face a fact their fetus has average, ah, sorry, intractable disease before born. So according to new report, pregnant women feel strong stress. So first of all, I want to talk about the new technology. The name of new technology is non-invasive prenatal genetic testing, short for NIPT. So as I above said, the technology can find the trisomy. Sorry. Look at figure one. Trisomy is the it's become chromosome uh, three copies instead of normal two copies. And the object of NIDP is limited the pregnant woman who over 35 years old and who have already delivered a child, aberration child. But it is the good, it has a good point. Only serologic test can tell us the possibility of chromosome abnormalities. So that because of, that is because the target of this technology is the, the fetal DNA fragment in maternal blood. So it means there is no miscarriage. It's the cause, it's the reason called non-invasive. But, however, there are two caution in this technology. One is the it's, NITB is not definitive diagnosis, not final di diagnosis. So if a pregnant woman gets the positive, positive result in NITB, she should another definitive diagnostic to prove completely positive. And according to a Japan Association, Japan Society uh, of Obstetrics and Gynecology to try NITP without much consideration leads to abortion. So they should genetic counseling before NITP. And you can see figure C, time schedule, uh, and I, I explained the definitive diagnosis The, the, most in, the most famous is amniocentesis like this. So I want, from now, I want to show the result report, uh, result of the clinical trial. Over 7,740 pregnant women tried to, tried to NITP from from March, uh, from April to 2013 to March 2014. So, 130-person finally diagnosed it. She, she had a fetus who had abnormality. And, surprisingly, 110 person over 90% of women try to abortion. Abortion is to cure his, her fetus before born. It is very surprising. And in addition to this, the three women stop kill her, kill her fetus for the definitive diagnostic or even before get the result of NADP. I hypothesis they have get strong stress during 
the NADB. Look at this figure. From this figure, you can understand they have long time to know the state of fetus. And even if use, uh, sorry, even if use in a, even, sorry, even if use NADV and another amniocentesis and decide to abortion, they have, they get strong stress. And in my study, according to the report by Mr. Suzumori, who is an assistant professor of Nagoya City University, the pregnant woman carried NADP feels stronger stress after it than those who never use NADP pregnant women. So, in order to prevent the stress, what should they do? Also, study that Mrs. Mr. Sudimori said. The more a pregnant woman who tried the NADB consult with her family, the less stress her feel. So we can we can talk. A uh, woman talk to your to her husband. She can reduce the stress in NADB. So NADB is easy and available test, but um, Long-term examination makes us strong stress. However, the concert, consulting with a, the more consultation a couple have, have each other, the less stress a pregnant woman feels. But what should we do? Look at this figure. I'm, I made a question here. When you beat the, when you beat the opinion about abortion to your future partner, who have a priority to decide? You can understand, woman is very strong. Woman has a priority to decide in our generation. So, in my conclusion, under, we should understand the current situation and learn a lesson from them, and we can prepare the base of consultation. So please, uh, so it, it make NIDP better from now in our generation. Thank you for listening.